Now let's talk about the member function algorithms of a string, which includes copy, find, and compare. Say we have S1 equal to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we have a char buff, which has the size of 20 characters. And then we do size t len equal to s1 dot copy buff 3. This will copy 3 characters from s1 to buff. And the return value is the number of characters that are indeed being copied. So as a result, buff contains a, b, c, and len equal to 3. Note that buff is not now terminated. So if you print out buff, you'll see some random characters. If we do len equal to s1 dot copy buff 4 2, this will copy a portion of s1 to buff, and this portion start at position 2 and has the size of 4. So it is this portion that will be copied into the buff. Buff contains C, D, E, F, and len equal to 4. If you remember from previous tutorial, whenever you see two numbers as parameters, usually the first one is the starting position, and the second one is the size. So the copy function is the only exceptional case in the string class, where the second parameter is the starting position, and the first one is the size. Personally, I think this is a bad design. It should be consistent with other library APIs. But this is what we got. Now let's look at S1 equal to if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. And we'll use the find function, size t found equal to s1 dot find doing and this will find the string of doing in the string s1 and it will return the position where the string is found so found will be equal to 17 which is position of the d and if we do found equal to s1 dot find doing 20, this will start the searching of doing at the position of 20. So it will start searching at roughly this place and it will find the second doing. So found will be equal to 35. Now let's find a different string we'll find doing well and we'll start the searching at the position of 0 and this one will again return the value of 35 because it will find this doing well now if we do find doing well 0 5 it will search the string of doing well starting from 0 but it only look at 5 characters so what's get returned will be 17. It will find the first doing. Now let's say found equal to s1 dot find first of doing. This will search the first character in s1 that has appeared in this string. So you are only looking for one character. And in this case, this O is the first one that appeared. So found will be equal to 6. And if we do find first of doing 10, then it will start the searching at the position of 10. So it will find the second O that appeared over here, and the value will be 12. And if we do find first of doing 10, 1, this will look at only the first character, so it will only look at the D, so it will return 17, because it will find this D. 
And there are some other similar functions. Find last of doing. And what will be found is this character of g. So the found value will be 39. And we also have find the first not of. Not of. So it will find the first character that is not appeared in the doing string. So which apparently is the first one found equal to zero. And similarly we can find last not of doing and which is apparently the last character which is uh, 44. Now let's look at the compare function. S1 dot compare S2. This will return positive if S1 is bigger than S2. And negative if S1 is less than S2. And zero if S1 is equal to S2. You can also do if S1 bigger than S2 and then do something. This is the equivalent to if S1 dot compare S2 bigger than 0. But the advantage of using the compare function is it's more flexible. You can even compare a portion of the strings. So S1 dot compare 3, 2, S2. This will start the comparison at the position of 3 and only compare two characters. So in this case again the first parameter is the starting position and the second parameter is the size. We can also concatenate two strings. Let's say string SS equal to S1 plus S2. This will concatenate S1 and S2 and assign to SS. So these operators are overloaded for string class. This is good, but it might give you an illusion that these operations are very cheap, which is not necessarily the case. When the string size becomes very big, these operations are very expensive. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.